I once read an account of the liberation of the Nazi concentration camp at Auschwitz, and it had this terrible story embedded in it. And the story recounted that an Allied soldier found a young boy who had been prisoner there hiding underneath a bunk in the barracks. And the boy was starving, covered with lice, and, and, and terrified of his liberator. In an effort to calm him down, the, the soldier offered him a, a little bit of chocolate and then said to him what anyone would do. We would smile and say, hey, little boy, what's your name? And that child wouldn't look the soldier in the eye, but he answered, Jew dog. My name is Jew dog. And the soldier said, no, no, no. No, not, that's not what I mean. Tell me your name. And the boy said, Jew dog. That's the only name I know. That's what they call me. And the soldier realized that he had been called that so often he had forgotten his real name. And that's the only name that he knew. Sticks and stones may break my bones, but words will never hurt me. How often have we chanted that, and how often have we wished that it was true? Because we know that words can be destructive. Think of some of the horrible things people have said to you and how they've wounded you. And think of some of the hurtful things that we have said and how they have affected others. I tell young couples that I prepare for marriage, watch your words. I would pay good money to take back some things that I have said. But once they're out of our mouths, no check, no matter how large, will erase the hurt that they've caused. But thankfully, words can also heal. Words can also strengthen. They can bring joy. They can bring life. I love you. Sure, I forgive you. I'm sorry. It's good to see you. Great job. Welcome home. You look wonderful. What have those meant in our lives? Even if we hear them rarely, just remembering them does something to us. Don't they? The, the readings today are all about words and, and how they affected the people who heard them. When Ezra stood in front of the people and read the words of the law, the people wept. They wept because they knew how far they had wandered and how the mercy of God was calling them back. Jesus stood up in that synagogue at Nazareth and read. He read words from the book of the prophet Isaiah, and everyone fell silent. And in that silent, they looked at the Word made flesh. Sticks and stones may break my bones, but words are even more powerful. Today, let us ask God to help us use the gift of speech, the gift of words, well and wisely. To build up the body of Christ, never to tear it down. And we pray that the Word that we hear, the Word that we proclaim, may take flesh within us, that we may proclaim the Word made flesh, who is Jesus. God love you.